Does he look at what people say about him after a bad game or a good game? Um, I think he's, he's off Twitter during the season. He, you know, he, he knows, he, he, he knows what's going on. You know, he knows, he knows the harshness of, uh, mm-hmm. of having a bad game and, and, you know, and, and things of that nature. Uh, he doesn't really, he doesn't really look at it a lot. You know, I think, I think what hurts him more is the cancel culture, you know, and, you know, if he wants to post something on the, on the internet, mm-hmm. And uh, idiots are hiding behind computers and um, people are just waiting to, to hate because of their jealousy. Um, I think that bothers them a lot more, mm-hmm. you know, um, whether it's regarding guns or whether it's regarding going fishing and having a hook in a fish's mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, and not e- he did not even realizing what he's, you know, yeah. um, he's just trying to have a good time. And um, I mean, the kid is is probably. I don't, yeah, I'm, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. This oh, Mark, I totally thing. know what we're, you're talking about. And I was a defender. Yeah. I was like, what are we talking about? He's just enjoying his summer. Like, what are we doing? It's Listen, it's the most ridiculous thing. Christian is such an animal lover. Yeah. No one, like we have, he owns, he has horses here. He doesn't want to see any animals ever hurt or whatever. Yeah. Um, and for people to to literally... You know, unfortunately, he's gotten death threats regarding it. And Jeez. it's gone to the point where, um, you know, people want him in jail and all this. I, I, I look at it and I say, man, you, you need to do more positive things. These people who are behind their computers and right away waiting and you need to find positive things to do with your life um, and not just stalk and wait for someone to do something wrong that has some sort of notoriety and just jump and pounce on them it's pretty sad and um, pretty idiotic. You know, people need to grow up and people need to um, just be smarter about what they're, what they're doing with their time and their computer. What I've a, said my piece. Yeah. Well, that's one of the I, best things said on the podcast I, because, <laughs> well, I'm not kidding. I, I just, you know, listen, if you want to talk about his game and you want to say he had a shitty game and he had a shitty go, go for it. Yeah. You know, but when you don't really know the situation, what happened that day on the boat, or you don't really know Christian, what he is as a person, shut your mouth. Amen. So, yeah, but, Let me just uh, but he had a good time. Yeah, he, <laughs> good, because yeah. he should, because to me, once yeah. again, take the animal out of it. I'm just like, he's having a great time. That's what boys, yeah. Yeah, that's just what people have done for decades and decades and decades. It's just now of social yeah. media. And now you have everybody, like you said, Mark, wanting to just complain if they feel they even can for a moment. When if they did it, they wouldn't like it if it was turned against them, especially if it wasn't something that was really all that big of a deal. So, yeah, I mean, listen, anybody. Yeah, and I wonder if any of those people actually eat fish because that's pretty mean. It... <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, uh, listen, it's all it's it's listen, it's just the way society is now. And it's just mm. social media has has uh, has brought up so many, um, unfortunately, negative things and uh, but positive things as well. So we just want to stay, like I said, have good vibes about it. And hopefully this stuff can be stopped. Yeah. yeah. Well, well said, and we'll leave it at that. But obviously, just the message to Christian is just keep being you. You know what I mean? Just keep being you. Because guess what? Yo. I, I've said this, Mark. I could write, just with my Twitter platform, right? Just with my following. I could write, I'm happy. I like happiness. And I will have people tell me, no, happiness isn't good for you. Happiness is overrated. Like, you could say the most, yeah. you know, the least controversial thing, and you'll have people telling you, no, you're wrong. So then you just have to just be yourself. You know what I mean? You just can't worry about what they'll say in response. And it seems like for the most part, he does that. And that's great. So to- no, he does. He, he takes it with a grain of salt and uh, he'll tell me things privately as his dad. Yeah. You know, he, he, he makes me laugh because, you know, he can't believe what, what happens sometimes and what's said about him. But uh, uh, all in all, you know, the most important thing is he's a good kid. He cares about people. He treats people with respect. Um, he he treats animals. He treats, you know, he, he's just a good kid, you know. And, uh, you know, he just put, uh, he just built a, a half a million dollar training facility for his old soccer club. You know, I just wish that would get out more. 
yeah. in the media, you know, uh, uh, instead well, people look at the negative. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, I know. Yeah. Yeah. You do something. You nice. know, we were in Florida. Yeah. We're in Florida training and he's going over to soccer clubs and just taking pictures with kids. And, and, uh, you know, so unfortunately a lot of the good stuff, uh, kind of gets overshadowed, but, uh, but it doesn't matter. You know, it all matters what's in the inside. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what matters. So, yeah, yeah, that's it. 